Hello everyone and welcome to Mars Horizon. This is a game currently in closed beta and I'll put the link to sign up for the beta in the video description. I am going to restrain myself as far as picking apart this game at this point because there is a lot that will be developed because content is not final. They haven't got given a release date so that's flexible depending on what kind of feedback I suppose they get from the beta. and. Of course, I expect my audience to be very knowledgeable about Rocket Things, so perhaps you guys can contribute to that process. Uh, I am writing a book on Mars <laughs> and how to get there and colonizing it, uh, so I might overshoot the mark a little bit too much. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe they got everything good and everything, we'll see. But uh, taking a look at the options, we've got uh, some basic options here, data privacy, and uh, turn warnings and such. Uh, the resolution, of course. I've got it automatically set my graphics to ultra. Okay, fair enough. I like this because uh, it's very important that it doesn't capture my mouse when I'm recording. And so being able to turn off lock mouse is super helpful. And of course, the audio. So, yep, basic stuff. New game. All right, so. In the full version, they're planning on having five agencies. Right now they have three. And we can see uh, it blinking that I can use Q and E to select these and it highlights it on the Earth. And let's see now, ESA has plus 100% for joint missions, increased chance of joint missions generating, um, science bonus from diplomatic relationship and plus 5% payload reliability. Uh, seems about right. Uh, Invalid launch windows become suboptimal launch windows. <laughs> That's very good, actually. Um, uh, no support lost for failed missions. Huh. Well, uh, maybe maybe reduce support, but I mean, uh, uh, the, the, the amount lost might be minimal, but you know, that might be pushing it. But okay, all right, it's simple. Minus 50% astronaut hiring cost and upkeep. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, achieving a top three milestone rank grants double support bonus. I don't know exactly what that means yet, so. Plus one level to all vehicle parts. Okay. Uh, more contractors available. Yeah, definitely. All right, so let's see how this works out. Uh, well, let's just go NASA. Because uh, I, I understand what these mean. I mean, I sort of get the idea. I don't really understand this one. Achieving a top three milestone rank grants double support bonus. I mean, I get support bonus, okay, but I don't really know how that plays out. I don't exactly know how the contractor stuff plays out, so let's go with this. Okay, so welcome to the early preview of Mars Horizon. This is limited beta. You'll have access to the first two eras in the game, which takes you from launching your first satellite to landing humans on the moon. So this isn't just about Mars. Uh, so we're talking about getting to the crewed moon landing, not the Mars stuff. And we have to do that by January 1980, it looks like. Okay. So yeah, a bit more expansive. January 1957, of course, Sputnik launches in 1957 and they do Vanguard stuff. So, okay, we've got an exclamation mark on research. Mission, test launch. Okay, science reward, 25 science over one month. Support reward, plus or minus 10. We have to, it's a suborbital test launch. So that's the mission. We've got a HQ, a small launch pad, and a vehicle hangar. And this, we, we, yeah, it's a fairly robust building tree. Era 1, Dawn of Space Flight, Era 2, Human Space Exploration, and Era 3 and 4, not available in beta. So, up to there. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Vehicles! We've got a sounding rocket. And then, it's the normal sort of things. Oh, wow, look at that. we got Vanguard and Jupiter, Viking and Jupiter, upper stages. And then some names that we are actually familiar with, or at least I am. Algol, Castor, Abel, 
um, star 37 scout, and then I don't know what an upper redstone is, but okay. I know what a booster redstone is. I don't remember an upper redstone. Um, Atlas Delta. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, that's probably a Thor. <laughs> I mean, at least in my, my conception, that's probably a Thor. Delta K, though. That's a thing. Um, uh, I won't be picky. I won't be picky. I won't be picky. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, then you got Saturn, and so obviously the the Russian slash Soviet branch will be different, and and ESA branch will be different too. We will have to see what those look like. Actually, that that's very interesting. All right, Earth test launch. Okay. So like, how do we plan mission? Okay. Right. Select vehicle. Design a vehicle. Build sounding rocket. Alright. Upper stage zero. No, I think we need... I mean, I understand it's minimal zero, but... Level one. Oh, it's locked. 40% um, launch reliability. Duchess is a fine name. We've got 100,000. One month build time, 80,000. But we do get funding per month, I suppose, so it's not too bad. I don't, I don't understand this zero. Any changes to... Uh, no, I don't want to... So right-click actually is to leave the screen. Hmm. Um, I can't unclick these. I think it's just set. I'm gonna go with that theory. Your engineers will deliver a construction report once Duchess has been completed. Unrevealed trait. Are, are the rockets like... like... characters? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, build it. Vehicle approved. I sure hope so. Then change it. <laughs> okay, so we lost 80,000 as expected. Building will take one month. And... We can't train or anything. So, let's back, go back, uh, set research, I suppose. Um, let's drive everybody crazy and research, research the Vanguard rocket. Hmm. I think we have to advance to the next month, though. Okay, Vanguard research complete. A small liquid fuel rocket designed for launching basic satellites, yes. As rocket technology advances, so does the prospect of exploring beyond the confines of our planet, yet the public continue to question whether the fledgling agencies can overcome the dangers of space flight. Unlock the moon, wow. Already? <laughs> um, uh, okay, yes, very dramatic reveal of the Duchess. No effect. Well, that was anticlimactic. All right. I'm a little bit disturbed about the lack of numbers when it comes to designing the rocket, but okay, we'll we'll see. I mean, because we didn't really get to that much. All right, can we launch a rocket now? Active missions. Test launch. Okay, uncrewed mission. So, set a launch date. Can we just launch it this month? Um, I guess not. Optimal launch date is April. Boy, now, they did a lot of suborbital launches before 1957, but okay, uh, let's... I don't even know what kind of... Uh, what's the point of testing a rocket that isn't going to be part of the orbital system, but... Okay, let's do this. I mean, they cost 80000 each, so I don't know if we can build another one while that one is getting ready. Well, that's an exclamation mark. So, yeah, we have to pick, um... I'll go with a caster. It'll take a while to research it, though, because we only get 11 per month. Oh, well, don't we need an upper stage? No, um... Technically... Whatever. Anyway, Vanguard's a three-stage rocket, so... But, um... I guess we have to use Viking. 
Ma oh, here we go, numbers. 300 mass. This one, capacity is 400 kilograms. So it can handle 400 kilograms, and this is 300 kilograms with a capacity of 40 kilograms. Next month, I think. Viking research complete. I want the able stage. Wait, uh, the able stage mass is what? 1,100? Wait. So the able stage can't be lifted by a vanguard? Um, maybe... Okay, uh... Oh, I'll take a caster then, and then combine with the able stage, I suppose. Next month, I want to launch a rocket now. Okay, test launch. Mission progress. 40%. Well, um, launch. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do, so let's see what happens. Nice artwork. They've got a good sense of cameras. Okay, inspected the launch vehicle. One of the following events will occur during launch. Smooth takeoff, 9%. Secure launch, 27%. What does secure launch mean? Systems damage, 48%. In-flight engine failure, 16%. Okay, inadequate conditions, overall reliability is 36%. I don't want to reschedule to another month. Go ahead. I'll take my chances. Okay, this angle isn't the greatest. We do? Uh... That took so long I thought I was about to explode on the pad. <laughs> uh, don't say we have liftoff until it lifts off. Oh, good! <laughs> we have our first explosion. Let's get a few hundred of those out of the way quickly. Booing? People don't boo. 16% chance and I managed it. That should be an accomplishment, but anyway. Okay, good. We got that out of the way. Um, active missions locked. Base. Well, we have a base. Um, I don't want a new building. I don't want to move buildings. So that gets us more science per month, apparently. Ooh, the, the mouse is doing interesting things. Like, I'm trying to hover over this, but then it sometimes goes over there. I don't know why, that's... I give up. <laughs> I give up. Alright, fine. Let's not click on that. That was a silly place. Uh, I, I wanted to know how to build a rocket. Well, okay, fine. Next month. Gain 15 science. Well, we gained science from the failed test. That's good. Clicking on Earth doesn't... Oh, wait. Mission select. Okay, test launch. Oh, okay, okay, so... Clicking on Earth once doesn't do anything. Double, not, not double clicking. Clicking a whole lot on Earth does something. Double clicking doesn't do anything. I click once, doesn't do anything. Double click, doesn't do anything. Clicking furiously on it gets me this screen. <laughs> so, so, okay, all right. Um, test launch, yeah, so now we can plan this. I don't want the same rocket. Can I build sounding rocket? Well, it's all locked still. 55% launch reliability though, because we lost the other one. Okay, fine, build one of those. Build. Required research. We have to complete required research. Mission vehicle parts. So they suggest parts. We're researching that one.
Okay, we have to actually do this research for this mission. Yes, let's research this. It doesn't say that we actually have to fulfill the previous mission, the sounding rocket, the suborbital one, to actually do this one. We just need to do that research, maybe? We'll see. Okay, next month. Okay, so we've done research into launching an artificial satellite. We've completed this rocket. Okay. Okay, set training and launch date. I think maybe it's picking up my controller stuff, like my joystick and all. So I'll try and zero those out. Oh, don't 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 wander away. Well, it looks like we're not gonna do the sounding rocket before. Before Sputnik. Well, all right. So does the optimal launch date fine? I mean, it's only 55% chance even with that. Confirm that setup. Let's see if we can plan the the satellite launch though. Okay, click, 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 click. Still locked. Require research to start the mission. Mission payload. Oh, there's a mission payload research. It's Explorer. Well, that's good. That makes sense. Could be Vanguard, though. They didn't offer Vanguard as a possible one, but that's probably for the best. <laughs> it looks like we can only build... Come on... Um, only build one per mission at a time. Okay, Explorer research complete. Alright, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Alright. No mission slots available. Gosh darn it. Okay, let's see if maybe expanding our base allows us more mission slots. New building. Launch of small vehicles. Construction of launch vehicle. No more available. Well, I guess not. Okay, well, we should get back to regular research. So, missions. Lunar orbit. Animals in space. Wow. Maybe if we have a better rocket test pad, more vigorous vehicle engine tests, more reliable launches, sounds like a good thing. Okay, so this is what we need to spend money on. Um, research a research lab. Clean room, aid and development of... Well, let's get the rocket test pad for reliability first. Because 55% is really bad. All right. Well, there's Sputnik. I mean, they are they gonna tell us Sputnik happened? Guess not. All right. Oh. Ah, yes, our own test launch. Yes, launch mission. That's so tiny. We overbuilt this pad. <laughs> Good conditions. That increases reliability. That's nice. Still a 9% chance of in-flight engine failure. 16% chance of smooth takeoff. Well, that's good conditions. You can't get better than this. Don't say that yet until it actually gets off the ground, huh? You could say ignition. Ignition might work better. Keep going. Keep going, please. Don't applause. No applause yet. You have to wait until we find out it worked. <laughs> okay, secure launch. Well, I mean, it's just a sounding rocket. It's not getting to orbit or anything, so... Going up is fine. Milestone achieved. Test launch. Alright. Mission rewards. We might pass our funding review after all. We'll see. I'll take it to the funding review and then call it a video. Um, so if you get into the closed beta, you'll have quite a lot to do still. After all, there's a whole moon landing thing to prepare. 
so I won't be spoiling too much of it for you. Um, okay, so, well, let's see, there's a base, a new, yeah, we did build a new building, the rocket test pad, build. Okay. Um, the, okay, I think there must be some controller interference. Ah, okay. Okay, so if I zero out all my other axes, then it'll work. Maybe some way to confine which input is being used would be good in the menu, but... Okay. Okay, so we finished researching the rocket test pad, and I think spacecraft assembly facility might be good. I don't know exactly what it does, <laughs> so it's tough to say. Or uh, maybe we should get the able upper stage. I mean, it, it's but I wanted to to go with the caster first stage. We have the one thousand four hundred there, and this was supposed to go with it. The numbers, I have to say, don't make a whole lot of sense to me. The the mass and capacity numbers. So that's something worth reviewing. But um, all right, let's let's go with this. I mean, it didn't suggest the able stage for our 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 official satellite mission so we can plan this mission now and we want to explore that is explorer definitely very good uh, it, the payload costs a hundred thousand which makes sense um, they were very expensive pay all the payloads are very expensive mass 15 kilograms that's close enough yeah um, Payload rating 1 star, I don't know why, but okay. Observation modules... Oh, uh... Prototype... Oh, there's different types of things. This is standard, and then... We... I get guess get better science if we do this, but it's lower reliability, lower reliability. This is more power. I don't know what... The starting power is 6, okay? I don't, I don't know what power does for us, but let's just go standard for now. That's interestingly complicated. Alright, build. Um, so we have to build the payload before we build the vehicle? We can't build the vehicle at the same time? Gosh. Okay. Well, next month. This is gonna take a while. Because we can't do things in parallel. Okay, let's get the able stage. Okay, budget review. We've gotten more budget. That's nice. Able research complete. Okay, so we passed our first budget review. That's good. And we've got the able. No, no, the explorer, I mean. Um, it reduces the vehicle build time, but it also reduces the science reward. I mean, you would think Vanguard would do that, but okay. Uh, all right, all right. Next design vehicle. Okay, design new. Finally, I get to, ooh, look at, we got parts. Um, caster. Mass capacity. No, I, I don't want caster as an upper stage. I, oh, well, we already had an Agena? Oh, no, we have to research it. We haven't researched that yet. Okay. All right, all right. Um, Viking. Able. Yeah. Select Able, since we have it. And the first stage will be the caster. These are two lights, that's why they're marked in red. 82% launch reliability. I mean, this is OP for our payload. If it were only 15 kilograms, this has a capacity of 600 kilograms. To the moon, uh, somehow, but, uh, hmm. Uh, so we could use a smaller rocket, like, there's this Viking stage, capacity 40 kilograms. 
That's the upper stage. Oh, that's what the Viking is. It's the combo. Well, that's what goes with Explorer anyway. Okay. So we actually should put a redstone at the bottom and that would be the right design. But um, instead, we've got Vanguard. And Vanguard technically works for this. Capacity 400 kilograms. Launch reliability is less. That makes sense. But it's quicker to build, which also makes sense. Um, we could put a caster down there, but that's OP. Better launch reliability, though, than Vanguard. That really does make sense. Okay. Hey, there's a S, uh, Saturn 1B first stage, Titan 2 first stage, Saturn 5 first stage. Build time is long. I mean, we only have a choice between Vanguard with 60% uh, reliability and a caster, but it'll take a three month build time. Well, it's choices like these that led people to make the Vanguard rocket in the first place. We'll go for the one month and take our chances. 64% launch reliability. Alright. Impavid. No, let's just call it Vanguard. I mean... Vanguard. Okay. Build vehicle. Hmm, set research. We've got the able stage. We should get a atlas. I mean, I sort of want to do redstone because we've already got the upper bit, um, the Viking bits, I guess. Um, wow, capacity is 6,400. Might as well go with the atlas thing, though. Well, it has a much higher build cost, though. Delta takes longer to build, but costs less. Oh well, it still costs more than redstone. Mm, more reliable though. This is a tough choice, actually. I don't think we want the 55% launch reliability. Though you can increase it by level. I don't know how to level up the rockets yet, though. This one can't go up very much per level. Let's just go with Atlas. This seems like the middle ground and it gives us more capacity, I suppose. Expensive, though. We need two of those upper stages on the other side. Okay, can we launch an artificial satellite? That's our question. Oh, we've got an increased payload reliability here. Uncrewed mission. Oh, improved performance of training. Hmm. Increased launch reliability. No, let's just do it. Oh, do we have to train? I guess so. Uh, well, there's bad chances. I mean, 20% launch reliability penalty can't launch on that date. So the Soviets would be able to launch on that date. <laughs> so, um, so that would just be a suboptimal one. So I guess that's fair. That's pretty good. Um, I guess we'll have to wait till June. Atlas research complete. Uh, let's get another one of these stages since we need two of them to unlock these. So let's get the star 37. Turns out we're gonna need a much bigger budget after all with the cost of these rockets. Okay, can we launch our first satellite? We're quite a bit late. So at least the training can happen concurrently while we're waiting for a launch. It's not like you have to do training and then schedule a launch. Well, it's a bit taller than the previous rocket.
5% chance of critical engine failure, 14% of battery damage, 20% um, chance strong comms, that's a good point. I mean, if anything failed once they got to orbit, it was comms at this during this era, so. Okay, 82% overall reliability. Well, here goes nothing. Come on, stop saying that so early. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, okay, that was nominal. That didn't look nominal for a sec there, but okay, it's nominal. Well, that's Vanguardish. Now I gotta try this. I never tried to put those little SRBs on to a Vanguard. <laughs> uh, that, sh that probably wouldn't work out very well, but anyway. Secure launch, no mission effect, so average launch. Then we leveled up, so that's how we level it up, just by using them. We leveled up the Vanguard and Viking. And artificial satellite, yay. Achieve Earth orbit. And we've got these communication points, I guess. Um... Actions. Visual data collection. So we can get... Oh, wait. Uh, right click is to cancel, by the way. Um, orbital visual sweep will take one charge and one calm and give us three of these things. I don't know what those things are. Or we can use the charge and get more calm, but... Hmm, we still have two power here. I guess that's surplus power? I mean... Hmm, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. We have two action points. Okay, so we got two action points. And we've got an objective to get two comms, and also two of these. So let's get one of each and hope that we've got action points next turn, I guess. Or maybe we should actually... Let, let's assure ground control connection. That, then we'll at least have one objective done, I guess. Okay. Yay. Control Breakthrough. Member of Mission Control came up with a software update that increased data collection. This action will generate an additional one blue thing. Okay, we got an additional one blue thing. Oh, what happened? What happened? No! Minor solar flare has caused a burst of static overwhelming the transmission. This action will cost an additional one blue thing unless you spend... Okay, fine. Resist. After all, uh, a blue thing costs one charge anyway. Okay, and then we've got two more action points so we can uh, get that objective done. This is like a mini game. Um, let's... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Just resolve that. Yeah, go ahead. The other choices. Oh wait, I thought I got one of those. Uh... Uh oh, what happened? What happened? What? What? Camera shutter failure. Jeez, that was dramatic. Electrical malfunction in the camera has resulted in reduced data generation. This action's outpost output will be reduced by one blue thing. Find resist. Well, we don't have any more power left. Oh, but, but we, so we got all the things. Fine. All right. Yay, mission control is happy. Yay. Okay, so that... You need to do all that to actually achieve the mission, so it's not just launching it. Okay. Alright, I think that's where I'll uh, call it. I mean, we did the making orbit. We made orbit. So, if you want to go through, there's a whole bunch more. There's um, commercial satellite, multi-crew, multi-crew orbit, human in space, animal in space, and then there's the whole moon 
component to do the moon component stuff i guess you have to double click the moon it looks like so my one suggestion is if you happen to have a joystick set up uh, whereby it has a throttle control you might want to zero that out or set it into its uh, medial position otherwise it's going to mess up your ability to control in this game so i have learned that um, otherwise uh, graphics is very smooth i like the launch stuff that's good and so lunar orbit and crude moon landing here no probe moon landing though interesting okay so yeah i think that gives you a basic idea of the game and you should sign up for the beta and try it out for yourself if you're interested so with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.